Hi guys! Firstly, can you please excuse the sun? It is like, I think it's like half past nine in the morning and the sun is just like, I'm here, I'm here. So, I'm sorry, I can't change it because I have like security barrier bars. So, I can't change it. I can't change the lines. I'm sorry. It looks aesthetic anyways. <laughs> Okay, we're going to be filming this video. This is what is in my carry-on. I've actually wanted to film this video for a while, but I never did because I was like, who wants to see that? Apparently everyone wants to see it because everyone said yes. So, here I am. So, this is the bag that I use. It is the medium-sized polo backpack. I got it for my birthday from my best friend and her family, which is really awesome. I love them for it. I was super grateful for it. I've been wanting this bag for ever, so I'm really glad that I got it. Yeah, so it's the medium size. You get a small one, and then you get this one, and then you get like a proper backpack. So this is just the one in between. It's, okay, so the reason why I wanted this bag specifically was a few reasons. So firstly, it's got this handle, so I can carry it like this. It's got the backpack straps, so I can carry it on my back. It's got this front zip here. And then the main reason was because both of the zips have double zips. You see, there's two and two. So I like double zips because um, if you go to a more dangerous country, if you're traveling, then you can put a lock on it. <laughs> I know that sounds very hectic, but when I used to go on school tours, my teacher used to be like, please make sure no one gets into your backpack. So I used to put a lock on it. So um, yeah, that's why I like the double zips. It's also just a lot easier if the one side is really tight and then you can just zip it to the other side. I just find it more convenient. So that's why I like the double zips. I like this size specifically because you can put it underneath um, the chair in front of you so that you don't have to put it in the overhead storage area. <laughs> so, because um, I usually sit at the window. So for me, it's just easier to not have to have everyone get up for me to get something. So yeah, that's why I like this bag specifically. If you guys can hear music, I'm very sorry. My mom's listening to music downstairs. I don't know if you can hear it, if it's loud enough, but if it is, sorry. Okay, well, let's get into it. I actually, there's like one big bag in here that I haven't opened yet. So if the stuff seems like all over the place when I'm opening it, I'm very sorry. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so this is the front zip. This usually has all my essentials in it. So stuff that I'm going to need like quick access to. So what's in this zippy is firstly my earphones. So I know a lot of people really prefer headphones, which is great for you. <laughs> I really do want a noise cancelling pair. They're just very expensive and I can't like bring myself to pay that amount for a headphone that I'll only be using like twice a year. So I just use my good old earphones. These are from Skull Candy. I don't know what they're called, but they work really well and they've got nice bass. So I'm a fan, of course every single iphone uses struggle i also like these and not like um wireless bluetooth ones which i have i just don't travel with them because i can put this one in the tv and then use these to watch from like the tv in the like on the seat so yeah that's why i like these next in my like more handy pack area is my charger so i have a really long charger I think it's like a two meter. It's just because it's easier, yeah, because my charging cable is on this side of my bed, but I sleep on that side of the bed. So, um, yeah, so I keep this here because I can charge my phone in the plane. So I can either charge it with this or I usually just unplug it and charge it with this, with the USB port. So, and then next, which seems pretty obvious, <laughs> it's my passport. Um, so I usually just keep my boarding pass inside my passport so that when I go through security, I can just take it out the zip and then give it to the customs or give it to the 
a hostess or give it to whoever needs it. That's all that's in this zip. What I really like about this zip is that it goes like all the way to the bottom. So it really opens and you can put a lot in here, which is really cool. So, oh, and another thing that's usually in here is my glasses. So I'm actually very blind. <laughs> very fun i know so i usually have these in there i don't like wearing them when i'm in the plane when we're in air but i like wearing them when i'm in like in the airport or something so i usually have them in there as well with no cover because i'm very irresponsible okay that comes the big zip so what's really cool about the zip is you see it goes sideways so you can like open her up you can open her okay <laughs> so first thing which seems really excessive i'm sorry but i do travel with a fan um my family my sister and my brother-in-law live in the middle east which is very 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 hot so i like to take a fan with me we usually stop over in dubai and then go to oman so i usually have a fan with me because it's hot and I don't like getting hot and sweaty and stuffy. I can do this and that. Got this one at Clicks. At Clicks for um, I think it was 160 rand. Yeah. Next thing is a retractable water bottle, which is empty when you go through customs. Um, so you can take an empty bottle, but you can't take a bottle with water in it, which is more than 100 ml. If you have a little one, good for you but i don't <laughs> so um i take this one with which is really cool because you can either have a small bottle or a big bottle mind blowing i don't know so freaking cool so you can just fill it up once you get through customs and through security you can fill it up with water and it's cool and you can ask the air hostesses to fill it up with water as well so you can either get a big bottle or a small bottle and what's nice is that it doesn't take up a lot of space at all because it's so small and it's squishy so you can like maneuver it into the bag i got this specific one at cotton on um i'm not sure how much it was i think it was like 150 rand i think i'm not sure but yeah i got it there super cool okay next thing which seems pretty obvious is my wallet actually just takes cards and like i usually put like slips over there and money over there and then it just got my drivers my id and then my cards and my student card in case i can get discounts somewhere for being a student <laughs> i usually also carry like a few dollars in case i need to buy something and i also do always take some of our own currency just in case you get through security and you need to buy something all right, next is my power bank. I usually don't use it on the plane itself because most of the planes that I travel with have a port to charge. So um, I didn't have to use it then. But I do sometimes use it at airports because not all airports have the adapter <laughs> that I've got. So um, I use a power bank then. This one's really cool because it's got two ports. So two people can charge their phone at once. And it lasts very long very long i think i can charge my phone like four times with this thing i think i got this one like two years three years ago at um dion wired i think it was really cheap it was like 300 rand or 250 rand i don't know if you can still get it but if you can i would really recommend it the only downside to it is it takes a while to charge i think <laughs> well, it takes like two days to charge which i don't really have an issue with because it is a backup and when it's flat i just charge it so that when i need to use it it's charged next is a extra pair of underwear because you never ever know if you're gonna need <laughs> an extra pair of underwear for me i hate being dirty i can't deal with it so this whole bag is a you never know in case bag the zip <laughs> so it is what it is last loose thing is this this is just the cable to charge my fan and my power bank then the last thing which is the main star of the show the one that can get you through an apocalypse is this bag this is the bag that can get you through anything anything ever 
it is not actually that big like it fits into this and there's still space left out really, really decent size for what is in here so let's dig into her it says at a greatness which it is is really at a greatness i got this bag at miniso which unfortunately is closed down in south africa i'm sure you can get a bag this size at like clicks or crazy store or just skim it's a pretty basic size let's dive into her okay look at it guys there's so much okay so first off is just a spray deodorant which is 70 mils remember please don't go put your very expensive over 100 ml stuff in because it will get confiscated okay i learned the hard way okay. so yeah this is sugar it was the smallest one i could find <laughs> because obviously this bag is so jam-packed i needed a small one so this was the smallest one i could find i got this one at Diskim. I think it was like 17, right? Next up is a Tic Tac container with clips and hair elastics and bobby pins. Okay, next up was a full set of micro dolls. Or, uh, these are gem pens. Okay, next up is gum. I usually just chew gum if I get off the plane and if my ears block then like when we ascend and descend my ears block so i like to chew gum to unblock them okay next is another set of painkillers that i use these are my pads next up is this little thing this is a lifesaver so i don't know if you can see so it's basically like a fashion emergency kit from bras and things a little emergency travel kit fancy thingy so what it had in it before I put other stuff in it, there's some extra stuff that I put in, but what it had when I bought it was the following. It had a lip balm, a sewing kit, three hair elastics, a nail polish remover, a mini nail polish, a mini nail file, three earring backs, two adhesive tapes, four bobby pins, and a band-aid. Genius stuff, guys. I think this thing cost like 150 rand. Or 100 rand or 200 rand it was between 100 and 200 rand i know that <laughs> i'm sure random stuff in it so these are obviously my own but i just put extra plasters in it because i used the one that was in here <laughs> this thing is obviously the four bobby pins which is kind of useless for me because i have the bobby pins already but you can never have too many bobby pins it's a fact hair elastics are in here it's got like a proper size lip balm then he has the little baby nail polish that she gets so cute the nail file that you get in here that i haven't used because i have four other ones in this bag but it's here if i need it then he has the earring backs there's the little baby sewing kit in case something breaks Jeez. there's that adhesive tape that you get the next thing that i have is an emodium so this is just a sleeping tablet in case I can't sleep. Okay, so next is a little baby perfume. Um, yeah, like I said, smell. <laughs> I like to smell good, so I have a little baby perfume. Next, like I said, is a nail file. I have like three. <laughs> really unnecessary, but some people are really weird about nail files, and they're all different types of nail files. So this one I got in my advent calendar from um, the body shop. Next is a comb and a brush that's quite cool it folds into like a much smaller size i got this at mini store as well that closed down so next is a face mist now i like using face mitts when i travel just because you get so dehydrated on a plane i don't know what it is i know there is science behind it as to why you get dry on a plane it's from the body shop all right so the next thing is a whole bunch of gum all the different flavors i think i have mint in here i have wild berry in here i have musk in here and i have raspberry because that's all my favorites <laughs> so the next thing that i have is this which is a toothbrush two different toothpastes and um toothpicks <laughs> so the reason why i like this toothbrush specifically sorry that i literally demolished it inside this bag <laughs> anyways the reason i like it is because it's got like this little suction Thing to at the bottom 
so what's nice about that is i'm also really finicky about where my brush lies when i'm busy rinsing my mouth so what's really nice about this is that you suck it to the end of the the basin and then it doesn't touch anything like the head doesn't touch anything which is really good because we all know that um plain bathrooms are not the cleanest then i have two different toothpastes then last is um like just a set of tooth um picks toothpicks it's like these little plastic ones in like this little clear bag so what's nice about that is that if you put your toothbrush in here then it doesn't wet anything else in your bag this is a toilet spray pretty self-explanatory toilet you go into smells bad when you for some reason make the toilet smell bad you have little little baby toilet spray so this one is actually 100 ml on the dot which is very nice it's the smallest one i have ever found it's actually like a refill for the essence um automatic sprayer but it literally has like a finger sprayer thing so like it's perfect this is the one that i use i usually use the glass one that's liquid but the reason i use this one is for a few reasons so firstly it is 40 mils so it's the right size secondly um it's solid so it won't mess anywhere thirdly um it's a plastic container so it won't break the next thing that is in here which has messed everywhere so it's basically empty but it is a spray sanitizer i actually like the spray one specifically because i can just spray it on like my table my tray my flip down tray i can spray it on there because um they don't get cleaned very often and people like lie on it and people eat off it and people have their stuff on it and there's just germs everywhere so I just like to take this, spray it down and wipe it and then we sort it. Next thing is uh, the purple all over balm. Is it the all over balm? All purpose balm, sorry. Okay, so this one is just the original one. It's 10 mils. You can use it on your lips, your skin, your cuticles and a beauty finishing fragrance free balm. So I usually use this on my lips. Why I like it is because like that thing in there blocks this. So it can't mess. Next thing is a hand cream. This is the sheer butter one from the body shop. Um, yeah, just for your hands. If they get um, very dry, which they always do on a plane. Next up is more toothpicks. Next thing is wipes, dental wipes. Um, just hygiene wipes. To wipe down your counter, to wipe your hands if they get dirty. I like the size of the package. It's like the perfect size. And I think there's like 15 wipes in here. Just a pen in case you need to fill out custom letters. Or in case you need to write something down. Or in case you want to journal. Or in case you need to want to play a game. Norton Crosses and Hangman with your mom or your friend. Again, with the smell is um, Breath Drops. So you just drop it on your tongue and then it makes your breath smell nice. So very nice when you're on a plane, trust me. I like to use these instead of mouthwashes because first you don't need to spit it out. You can, can digest them, which is why I like it more than a mouthwash. And it's a lot smaller than a mouthwash. And this stuff is also potent. Next, tissues. Pretty self-explanatory. If you need to blow your nose or if you need to wipe something that's wet or if you need to carry, like pick something up, whatever you need to do tissues or if there's no toilet paper which seems to happen often what's up with toilet paper and and planes okay this is very excessive guys but i carry a plastic bag in case something gets wet i know that sounds so gross but you never know guys you never know in case something gets dirty or something gets wet um and you don't want it to wet everything else or if you have garbage or rubbish that you need to throw away i have a plastic bag or if you need to carry something or if you buy something and you don't want to buy a plastic bag it's a nail file a comb this comb is so good guys anyways a comb and then a little vanity kit yeah but and it's got like little um cotton swabs no not cotton swabs cotton pads next up is lens wipes clean your glasses or if you really want to to clean your screen or I've cleaned like my phone screen. Next is alcohol pads. If you need to wipe something with alcohol that needs to be like disinfected. 
so this is the Anique Rescue Essence. So this stuff, my friend Linnell raves about this stuff. She thinks this stuff is like holy water, but for good reason. If you have a headache, you put it on your temples and it releases your head. Or if you have a blocked nose, you put it underneath your nose and it releases your nose. Where are we getting there? Is a pad and a tampon in case someone needs. Another small perfume in case the other one finishes. Second last, I have another charger in case the other one breaks. <laughs> I told you, you can survive anything with this bag. And then last, but certainly not least, is a little manicure set. But I don't really use it for the manicure set. I hold my nail glue in here, which is a lifesaver when you're traveling and your nail breaks or it lifts or it does something. You just hum it down and you sort it, okay? So I carry this one specifically. This is the Kiss Precision Nail Glue. I really like it because it's got like a really small tip. So if you lift your nail, you can just push it up, drop it in there and then close it. And then the stuff is potent. It works really well. So little mirror in case someone needs a mirror. That's one thing I actually don't have in here. I'm actually proud of myself. There's a mirror as well. That's a clean, I don't know what that is. That's a cuticle pusher, I think. Sorry if I'm wrong. And then a nail clipper. And yeah, thank you for making it to the end of the video. Like, well done. <laughs> thank you for watching, guys. I hope you got some great ideas from this. And yeah, hope you enjoyed it. Bye.